Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Okay, so uh, while I was um, before this, I actually leveled Rydia or Rida up to level five and bought some Phoenix Downs. I like to get Rida up to level five because she only has 30 HP when you first get her, and uh, she pretty much dies in one hit, so this helps a little bit. Um, so onto the cave. Uh, so we're trying to get the Damsian right now to save Rosa from the Desert Fever. I learned a couple spells on Rida, on Rida, and we are continuing through the cave to the castle. Now everything in here is water, or most everything in here is water-based, so it's going to be weak to lightning. Now I'll show you the reason why I wanted to not buy her a better staff is because she can actually use the rod item to do semi-decent damage. It's not Cecil damage, but it does more than her three hit or usually a miss uh, with her current rod, so we'll keep that. Now these guys usually ran, run away, so we'll see. They have lots of HP. Uh, you should also buy some Phoenix Downs just in case uh, Rida dies throughout here, because you're going to want her. Um, she does she does a little bit of extra damage with her black magic, and you, if you get in trouble, you can always use her Chocobo as her summon. And this guy is not running away. He's just wasting my time. Maybe they don't have him run away in this version. Okay, so I'm basically tired of fighting this guy, so if he doesn't die here, I'm going to call a Chocobo. All right, and this is one of her first summons. Does exceptional damage for this early in the game. Okay, and she gained another level. That's just great. And we gotta fight him again. Okay, zombies are gonna be weak to fire. However, at this point, Rida doesn't know fire, and there's a and the reason behind that is because she's afraid of it because it burned down her village. So we will skip that all together. I am just going to take the amoeba out with Chocobo right now, instead of wasting my time again. And like I said, I'm going to be getting all the treasure, because I have to level up anyway, so the out-of-the-way treasures, if you're wondering why I'm wasting your time, it's because I need to be, I want to be 99 anyway to show you. It may take a little longer, but you can always fast-forward through the battle scenes. I'm not sure what half these items do anymore. And I'm out of MP. So remember that other I got in the, in the other cave, in the Cave of Mist? I'm going to use that to get some more MP for her. Like I said, most everything in this is weak to thunder. If they're undead, they're going to be weak to fire. Um, don't cast thunder on blue fish, though. They will actually that will actually cure them for some reason. And this again. Chocobo is taking up too much MP, so I'm going to stick with Thunder. Single targets do a lot more damage. There we go. And Riot is gaining levels all over the place. 
and tense. Now we run into our another ally. This will be Tella, if I remember correctly. And he's on his way to the Damsian castle as well. So let's go together. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, uh, when you get Rida, you're going to want to put, and just as a general rule, actually, you're going to want to keep all the weaker, weaker players that aren't heavy melee, the mages, basically your mage casters, behind in the back row. So you can switch the rows. And that'll have them do, or get attacked less, slash, do less damage to them. All right, now there's a couple secrets in here. You don't have to get these, just some different gear. Now, Tell is pretty cool. He's a black mage and a white mage. He has more intelligence than Rida, so he will be able to do more damage. you can see. Now if you go in this waterfall, it's a hidden entrance, you get some more treasure chests. And go back up. Now, I'm going to save Rida so I don't have to really use her magic. Tella has a spell called Osmos which will steal the MP off the other enemies and give it back to them. So, very useful. And we can use Rata here. Okay. And more mobs. Alright, now here you can actually fight them because you do have Rata. Or tell, I mean. Oh, you can see Cecil's pretty much useless in these fights. So we're going to cure these guys with Rida and fire on Tella because Rida doesn't have fire yet. And it's almost a waste of MP to cure them, but at least it does a little damage. I wonder if darkness would be any better. Okay. Just die. Thunder used, to, as you can probably tell, Thunder used to be where Blizzard is in my other game. Alright, we're gonna save right again. Attack. Okay. And more treasure chests. Oh boy. And here's the save point I was talking about where you can use your tent. Now this one's he'll give you a tell will give you a free one. 
and we'll have a little dialogue between Cecil and Tella. Save here. Oops. And attacked the second you get out of the cave. <laughs> Feel free to use your magic here. There'll be another place that you can save up ahead once you get closer to the end of the cave. Now, Square probably should have made the occurrence of monsters in this game, especially a little lower, because sometimes you'll get you'll take three steps and you'll get a monster. Or you'll get a monster, take another step, get another monster. Really, quite annoying. It does help you level. Okay, so that ice rod will go to Tella. The monster thing I was talking about. Take two steps. Tella has a new ability in here called Recall. I'm pretty sure that's just going to recall some of his magic he knew when he was younger. And he pretty much knew every spell there was except for the legendary Meteo spell, which he does learn later. Finally, different mob set, Toads. Okay, now if you go over this way, there's a... just takes you right past everything. Grab your treasure chest. here for another treasure. Feathered cap. I wonder if anybody can use that. And we can. There we go. the Shadow Blade. Equip that immediately on Cecil. And jellies. Any time you see those, run away from them. They're just pain in the ass. They take one damage from any melee. You have to use magic and they're just not worth it. Okay, we're back on the world map. We're getting closer to the end of the cave. can use another tent here. And 
and save again. I gotta get used to the controls on my keyboard. Alright, let's have at it. Seems some of the sound effects are awry. Equip those on Cecil. Save right as magic here. I'll just let Tella do stuff, because he can always osmos back. And I chose the wrong spell. But it's okay. Okay. Now... I have never been able to find the it was called shadow in the other in the other game but the the shield I don't I don't know if it just doesn't exist here I'm pretty sure they just forgot to put it in the game but I've been through here at later levels trying to find the the last part of the of the armor set and it's just I just can't find it it's nowhere to be found Just attack this thing, kill it. Oops. And you can see that there's something stopping our progress, obviously. So this is our first harder boss. Basically, you're going to want to have Rida summon her Chocobo, Cecil hits, and Tala cures and does thunder. Now, as you do damage to this mob, some of his tentacles will go away. And the more tentacles you get rid of, the slower the boss gets in attacking you. As you can see, one of the tentacles is gone now. I'll just keep whittling away at it. It's not really that hard. I'm going to try recall just to see what would happen. I don't know. I'm assuming it doesn't work every time. So he learned, he recalled Blizzard, but he already knew that spell and it was absolutely worthless. So, it may be useful if you're really, really screwed. I'm assuming he can do up to tier 3 nukes. And other spells. But I'll just stick to the ones he knows for now. Not very exciting yet. Yeah, 
And that's the end of him. Cecil's doing some weird hopscotch stuff in the water, though. I guess the layers are kind of screwed up from the emulator. Okay. And there's the Dancing Castle. And oh no, what is happening? And it looks like the Red Wings are destroying another castle. Now here I know Tella is also gonna leave, so I'm gonna again I'm gonna unequip him. Oops. And there, before you enter the castle, there's some more treasures over here. If you run alongside, talk to the prisoner, or talk to the guard. He dies. Hit the button on the wall, and have at it. And if you talk to the guards, they say that they stole the crystal. And there's Anna, dead from the attacks of Baron. And of course, Tella blames the my least favorite character in the game, Edward, who is a bard, whose melee attacks are with his silly little harp. I just don't like him. I'm glad I got rid of Tella's staff. He might have kicked Edward's ass. And she's gone. They're talking about Golbez taking over Cecil's position. He's now the commander of the Red Wings. So Tell is off to kill Golbez himself. Because he's only 90 years old, he can take on a, a captain of the Red Wings. much talking. Less QQ, more pew pew. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, he even looks like a girl. Stupid. I should just kill him, so I don't have to bitch about him anymore. Alright, so now the hovercraft, we can take over the shallow waters and get to Rose's Cure in this cave, which we will discuss next time. Thanks for watching.